Succession is the gradual replacement of one plant community by another. It starts with a change in the existing condition. The change can be the result of fire, tornado, flood, mortality due to a pest outbreak, a timber harvest, or simply ceasing agricultural activities in a field. After the disturbance, the forest progresses over many years through pioneer species such as cottonwood, willow, and sassafras, to species such as oak and hickory, and finally to climax species like maple. This succession takes place because along the way there are varying site conditions and different tree species have differing abilities to take advantage of these varying conditions. The pioneer species have light seeds that can be easily brought to the disturbed site by wind or water, are better adapted to the bare soil, and can quickly grow to occupy the site. Their presence changes the conditions so more shade tolerant species can thrive. Eventually, the intermediate shade tolerant species, such as the oaks, give way to shade tolerant species like sugar maple. The change your woodland undergoes over time provides different types of food and shelter required by many species of game birds and other animals. New openings are sources of insects, berries, and buds required by birds such as grouse. Openings also yield heavy growths of grouse for deer. As the trees mature, they produce nuts and fruits preferred by squirrel, turkey, and deer. Many birds and animals use the forest edge and the dense growth that fills in along the borders of these new openings. All these interacting factors determine the density, species composition, size, and arrangement of trees in your woodland. As you will see later in the session, you can use various forest management practices that are designed to imitate disturbances in order to reset the successional clock and maintain both the plant and animal species you desire.